Hello my friends, Takuya here and welcome back to another Hearts of Iron 4 video. My friends, it is time to conquer the entire world. As I'm sure a number of you are probably already aware, I am leaving for or am already in Japan depending upon the time that you're actually seeing this. I have been recording non-stop, quite literally non-stop for the past week here and I'm, I'm exhausted but there's still so many things that I have to create ahead of time. And considering that I recorded Shogun 2 Total War yesterday, I'm going to be recording the Hearts of Iron 4 Japan today and I'm probably going to be doing Victoria 3 Japan tomorrow. It's Japan for days. I'd call myself a weeaboo, but there's nothing making me go wee about this. I am exhausted. So hit that like button. It really helps me out and lets me know that you all actually like seeing these videos for me. But without further ado, let's go ahead and take over the entire world as Japan in record time. Iron Man mode on, historical AI on. Let's go ahead and jump into this. Now, the last time that I played Japan, I'm pretty sure that I showed off just how terrible some of the focuses still are for this thing because it's Japan has received essentially no love whatsoever over the past, like, what, six years, seven years that the game has been out? Japan really does need a rework. But in order to take over the world, what we are going to do is first purge the Kodoha faction, and we are going to kind of pursue things down the historical side. Why? Because if we just do historical, but then not be historical at all, we are going to completely and utterly break the game. Take our entire military force, slap that into an army. Let's see, we're going to arrange these by troops. Uh, simultaneously, we're going to go to our puppets, and we're going to request all of their forces. All nine divisions over on this side. And the Mengukuo, we're also going to do that to you, request your forces. And that's going to give me 12 additional units, so that is a good 72. Excellent. With these 72 divisions, we're going to go ahead and put a commander on here. I'm going to say Tomoyuki Yamashita. And you're like, oh, stack, that's way too many units. I know, shut up, watch. We're going to ask for military access from Italy over here, and our master plan will begin in rapid order. Now, two of these 72 divisions, I will go ahead and split off. I don't need all of these. I'd say two of the Hohei Shindan units. Yeah, that's fine. We're going to split you off, take you, slap on a leader. It doesn't really matter what we do. And in your case, we're going to go and create a little border here with the Soviets in just this province. You'll see why soon enough. Research-wise, we have some negative effects that are affecting us because of militarism, even though that gives us a pretty substantial bonus when it comes to other aspects of our government, like 20% additional war support and less time to justify, which is incredibly valuable for us. And yeah, it hurts civilian factory construction, but I don't need to build civilian factories. I am only going to be building mills and that is it. All civilian factories, we're going to be stealing from our opponents. So research wise, let's start developing our stuff for our guns. I'm also gonna slap one thing onto paratroopers. I'm gonna slap another thing over here on industry for basic machine tools. And then we are going to actually save up this and not actually research anything here just yet. As for our military factories, we're gonna slap the majority of these on guns, a little bit on support equipment, a little bit on artillery. Delete the tanks because I don't actually want any of those. And delete the basic naval bombers because again, we don't actually want any of those. Those literally do not matter. What I will actually need is a decent amount of transport planes of which eh, 38, you know what, we're actually going to need a bit of those. Okay, every aircraft designer. If you're gonna be making paratroopers, which is vital for the strategy that I'm about to show you here, then you definitely are going to want to build some transport planes. So actually, I'm gonna slap one off of each one of these here for artillery and support equipment, a little bit off guns, and put seven, no, actually maybe eight. You know what, we, we, we'll we get this, we'll put four on here. You know what, that should be fine. We are actually going to need a large amount of guns, so we will need to prepare that, and we will simultaneously need to then start trading away for rubber. I don't want to, but I have to, so it's what I'm going to do. Go ahead and unpause. We get military access from Italy, and that means immediately what we're going to do afterwards is we are going to send our forces that we currently have wrapped up in this big stupid army, and we're going to go ahead and set a area defense with every single point on here that is a victory point being something that we are going to occupy. In fact, I don't even want to focus on Zara. That seems like a waste of resources. Okay, every single other spot on here is going to be occupied. Beautiful. Now, 23rd of January arrives. We have 21 political power. The moment that we have that, we're going to start justifying on the Soviet Union. We already have a claimed state here, North Sakhalin, and because of the bonuses and everything else that we have, and since it's already claimed, in justifying, it's only going to cost 21 political power and last 105 days. That's it. We're going to be able to do that in rapid order. At the same time that we are doing that, so let's go ahead and take our entire Air Force. We're going to need to kind of consolidate that here a little bit. And we have 30 days of technology saved up here. So this kind of paratroopers over here is going to go now here to construction one so I can build stuff faster. And then in this case, this is going to go back over to paratroopers of which I had already partially researched. So now it's only gonna take 148 days. Very nice. And with the Kodoha faction purge, that means I can now go over down here to guide the Zaibatsu. That'll give me more civilian factories, more factory outputs, and we can make our way down here to national research policy and nationalized war industry so we can get our businesses going as soon as possible. Be afraid of anime, my friends. Be very afraid. 
Also, I should have realized this. I could have done this slightly earlier, but the moment you have 30 political power, immediately prioritize steel for guns because that's going to give you two military factories and increase the factory output. I'm going to need to trade away another civilian factory for yet more aluminum, which is fine. We need to produce this as soon as possible. And all remaining factories that we build are going to be slapped onto guns. We need as many of those as possible. Also, Germany, I'm going to go ahead and ask for docking rights from you. You're going to immediately accept that, which is going to be beautiful for me. And then with my giant Japanese Navy that I have built up over here, we're going to go ahead and take every single one of these guys and we're going to try and consolidate them into one massive force. That is 199 vessels, which is pretty significant. I'll split those in half so I can attach that to another fleet. And then with that, what we're going to do is we're going to have you have a strike force around here in order to be able to protect our border. And with the other fleet, I'm going to take you and move you all the way over here into Germany. And there it is. May 1936, justification for conquering North Cyclone for Japan is finished. That means immediately we're going to do something spicy over here. You ready for this? We're going to declare war on the Soviets. Now, a number of you are probably looking at me and you're wondering, Stack, what the, what are you doing? Why? Why, why, why would you do something like this? This isn't the Japan that I know and love. I mean, really? They did a lot of war crimes. You know that, right? Anyway, we are declaring war because the moment that we declare war on the Soviets, that means we are at war with a major power. Our fleet is already out here to make sure that we don't get invaded. And in the case of our Air Force, well, we're going to go ahead and take like what? It's like even 36 fighters should actually be able to protect my islands. So if I just go and do that, that, that shouldn't be any kind of problem. In fact, I'm going to send you up here so that you just have all this protected. Like that, that's perfectly fine now. You see, my friends, the reason why we set up everything the way that we did is that the Soviets are going to basically continuously throw themselves over at me on this side. But because I'm now at war with a major power, that means I could go over to something like, I don't know, little old Albania over here, and I can justify a war goal on them, which is going to cost me only two political power and 10 days. That's it. So we're just going to go ahead and do that. And now what's going to happen is that I'm not calling in any of my puppets into the conflict. So the Soviet Union is going to put all their forces here along the entire massive stretch of this border, which, mind you, has no supply. The entire time that they do that, they're going to be bleeding themselves out, so it doesn't really matter or affect me, and they're not going to be able to break through this tiny little spot. They just won't. They can throw themselves across this river, they're attacking into a forest, and I got two heavy units that are situated here in a place that can't really sustain much in terms of supply. I'm safe. With Guy the Zybots who's done, that means I can do national mobilization law and go ahead and put myself on war economy, and the next step after that... Attack Albania, which I just justified on, and Order 66 Italy. Beautiful. That means they get called in and, oh, what, what, what is this? What is this? I think I own the majority of settlements here. Oh, wow. Huh, huh. I wonder how close Italy is. Oh, wow. Italy is already 58% towards capitulation. So what we're going to do now is snake all of our troops around here because we want to be able to attack all this as soon as possible. We just need to make sure to move each and every thing out here that we possibly can. All right, beautiful. Let's go. Let's go. We may lose some of these fights. Others we are going to take, and that's not going to be a problem. There we go. They're surrounded. They're surrounded. Just keep on going. Rapid order as fast as we can. We will lose some divisions that is perfectly fine but you know what italy fell just like that that barely took like what a week which is going to give us a huge supply of guns we're going to get some trains we're going to get support equipment it's going to be beautiful and now we get to seize all of italy essentially we will proceed to take all of italy's navy beautiful we're actually not going to be able to take all of it we're going to miss like the final part in here but still that is a doubling of the size of our navy which is absolutely wonderful now i am going to lose all my trade relations unfortunately that is something big that is going to happen naturally speaking and unfortunately i'm going to need to bide my time in order to get some transport planes because I need to get 50, which means at a minimum, since it's like three a week at this point, that's still going to take me another like two months or so, unfortunately. But you know what? It's fine because with the new Navy that I stole, I can send those up here, take my army now, split this into varying different types. And now I can set up some actual defensive lines and prepare for some fun. As for what that fun is, oh boy, you'll see. I can now actually take my entire air force that has been saved over here and move it over to Italia. Take one army, slap that on the border with France so that we can get prepared over on this side. Oh, ho, 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 I am losing a lot of guns. Okay, all right, hold up, hold up. We're gonna switch this over from occupied to local police force. I, I want less gain, less required men, less everything. That will probably be um, kind of helpful for us. Yeah, at least now we can at least start to gain some guns back. Gee! UK, thanks. Listen, peaceful old Japan. Peaceful old Japan did nothing to you. Except now you're not allowed to have any tea. That literally removes the greatest source of rubber that I had in here. Now I need to scrounge for whatever little scraps I'm able to find, which is still not great, just so I can try to get up to 50 transport planes. <laughs> Boom, 50. Okay, now that means I can take all of my stuff off of you on transport, or at least the majority of it, because I don't actually care. And we can actually focus on gun production now, which is going to be needed. Now we start justifying on something random like 
Australia. You know, because really, who gives a shit about Australia? You better not send me any snakes in the mail. I know exactly what you people are capable of. Good, the justification on there is done. As soon as that justification is done, I go ahead and start justifying on France. Paratroopers is research, which means I can take some of my cavalry over here. I think I have enough for like six of these. Convert all these over to paratroopers. Wait a day for them to properly switch over. And then immediately start setting up paradrop orders. We're gonna do this one at a time. We're gonna set one on Paris, like Orléans, Lille, and basically every single place that has any kind of real value. Yes, with that war goal done, that means France, go ahead, declare war on you. Immediately go and launch our plan. France does go and join the common turn, that is fine, but it is okay because we have overwhelming air superiority. So as soon as I take all of these spots, France is at 99%. Are we there? Are we there? Have we taken? One, two, three. Uh, we took this. Yes! France capitulates! Just like that. It's that freaking easy. Now, that means the entirety of the Navy that we already stole and placed over here, we can go ahead and move over to Le Havre. Or actually, no, Dunkirk. Bigger, bigger port. And I can place all of my troops over here in Dunkirk and get ready to attack the UK. All of my paratroopers need to start heading on over to Calais. And time for more sacrificial paratroopers. I do not care what spot I take as long as, technically speaking, I capture a port. That's all I care about. And we're going to go ahead and attack the UK. Yeah, Baldwin. Are you called Baldwin because you're freaking bald? Yeah, that's what I thought. Jokes for days, people. All right, I don't care what happens as long as we are able to take even a single port. That should be perfectly fine. Yep, okay, that one's not working. Oh, hey, Portsmouth. Okay, Portsmouth is taken. Quick, all forces, flood the line and push. All right, come on, come on, come on. Take it, take it, take it. You will sacrifice your lives for me because I demand it. Yes, okay, all right. Sacrificial foreign units, I don't care. Main army into the business, yes. All right, quick, 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 flood the line. Move in, move in as rapidly as possible. Anything that we can do to attack them, the better. Save these units. Snake along the coast as rapidly as we can. And as soon as we are doing that, we need to start justifying on places like Yugoslavia and others. We don't have much time here. Whatever territory that we can get, let's do it. Quick, last stand again. Defend, defend, hold the line. Hold them, hold them, hold them, hold them. <laughs> London has fallen. All right, quickly, just go surround here. Destroy as many of their units as we can. Yes. <laughs> The more the UK loses now, the less that they have to replace. This is perfect. How many have I actually lost in this battle? Only 16,000. Yeah, this is beautiful. Plus, the UK is actually doing quite well here. Or uh, d d it's, it, it's not doing well. It's dying, but yes. Justification for Macedonia is complete. Now that means I can go ahead and declare war on you. And by declaring war on you, that means that we are going to be getting attacked by Czechoslovakia, Romania, and everything else here, I think. Which means that theoretically, hopefully, they should join the ally. Nope. Yugoslavia goes and joins the common turn. Hmm. What about Romania? What did you join? Romania joined the allies. Why would Yugoslavia join the common turn? Oh, that's not good. That's actually not good over here. Uh, okay, okay. Well, Belgium, uh, I might as well start finishing off you here then as well. Okay, Czechoslovakia also joined the allies. At least you did. I don't understand why the other ones wouldn't do that. Okay, that's all these ports surrounded. If we can just hold them out here as much as possible. The UK... The UK is getting pretty close to surrendering, but you know what? It's fine. It's fine. Because with that done, now I can go ahead and declare war on Belgium. Hopefully Belgium should join the allies too. Yes, they do. And the last one I really want to secure is I want to secure all the oil of the Netherlands. So let's go ahead and justify on you as well. The UK is literally about to fall. So I don't want to take Liverpool. I don't want to take any of this other stuff. I will probably go up here and take Edinburgh. That's fine. Yeah. Now, the moment I take Liverpool, they, they are, they're going to collapse. So we need to try and get this as quick as possible. All right, with Friesland justified on, that means I can declare war on you. And oh, oh, I, of course, I cannot forget. Forget. I cannot forget. Hungary. Hungary has not joined anything in here. I do want to go ahead and get you as well. Also, I should have realized that at the time that I'm doing all this, I do need to go ahead and construct an intelligence agency because that is going to be necessary here in order to be able to do anything against the Soviets because I don't want to have to fight against the Soviets the entire freaking time. All right, declare war on you, Hungary. And the next step after that, oh, oh, right. I forgot that in declaring war on Belgium that uh, they were going to do that. <laughs> Okay, you know what? Fuck it. I am done playing your stupid games. The United Kingdom capitulates. We get to all of this. <laughs> Oh man, you know, you, you, technically speaking, if you wanted to be smart about it, if you really wanted to speed run this, this is an exact strategy that you are capable of using in order to be able to take out, well, qu quite quite literally everything. You could genuinely go for a world conquest in which Japan owns literally everything. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to seize all the territory of the United Kingdom. I'm going to seize Belgium. I'm going to seize the Netherlands, naturally. Uh, Czechoslovakia, 
Uh, yes, yes, I'm gonna go ahead and take all of you. Australia, we're gonna take, we're gonna take all of Canada. We're gonna take all of New Zealand. We're gonna take all of South Africa. We're gonna take all the British Raj, as well as all the navies of every single force in here. And then we're going to puppet Ukraine, Hungary, and is there anything else? No, that's really all that we have over here. The reason that we're going to puppet these two powers is because unfortunately for me, Yugoslavia went and joined the common turn. I really wish that they had joined the allies. It's kind of RNG for what's gonna happen in that scenario. But if, if they had joined the allies, I would have taken out Yugoslavia, uh, Hungary, and also Czechoslovakia, and I would have merely puppeted Romania, but that's, that, 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 that couldn't, that couldn't happen here. The whole point was to keep a border away from the Soviets so that they wouldn't be able to just attack me. But in my case, now, uh, yeah, we, we own the entire world, except for free, free, fr is free, fr free France is in the fucking comment. Of course it is, because why wouldn't it be? Why, why wouldn't free France have joined the common turn? Now with the creation of the G2 department, we can go ahead and start upgrading all of these. We need to produce as many things as possible. So let's see, where is it? Localized training centers, there it is. I'm gonna need to do that. And then simultaneously, I'm gonna make it so that the Soviets, or not Soviets, that the freaking French can't actually invade any of this other territory that I have. And one of the things that we're gonna have to do is now design an extremely cheap division that we're gonna be able to use to basically take over everything, which is, a single fucking unit of cavalry. Yeah, I'm gonna kind of be in a little bit of a deficit in guns here, which is uh not not the best. We are we're definitely down bad. We are we are down bad for guns. In fact, I'm gonna need a bunch more of these here and consolidate. Japanese. How did Japanese Romania get called into the fight? I didn't do that. Damn it. Okay. All right. All right. All right. We were forced to release basically everything that we conquered here in terms of puppets, right? Uh now the Soviets. The Soviets are really pushing us. This is this is this is a going back and forth here. Uh, yep. Send you over here. Come on. Come on, come on, keep on holding out. Turkey presses the Hate issue. Uh, sure, just give it, I don't care. Give it to them, let them have Hate. I just, I, I have to focus on the Soviets here right now. I will murder you later, Turkey. In the meantime, honestly, now that we have some troops and we are holding out the Soviets for a while, what we need to start doing is preparing collaboration governments on them so that it's gonna be significantly easier to actually take anything here in the first place. And time to start producing a vast amount of absolute trash units that we can use to murder the United States. Yes, okay, okay, we're starting to surround. We're starting to make some progress. We're starting to make some progress. If we just move forward here and seize back some of our supply points, that means that we will be able to bleed out the enemy. Okay, Germany demanding the state land. Fine, you can have it. You, you can have it, I do not care. And the reason I do not care is because I can wipe out the Soviets all in one go here. Now what we're gonna do is take this basic Romanian unit. We're going to cut it down to size here, which uh, uh, I can't I can't do this. Uh, uh, ba, 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 ba. GG, I, 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 don't, I don't care. There we go, wipe out more of these. The Soviets cannot hold us here. Once we have pushed through, we can actually just move in here and take them out piece by piece. We get 82 divisions of our Romanian brothers, convert that over to our basic unit of the whole Hessian Dun. And that my friends is why we kept a Romanian puppet so that I can merely throw them onto this line, cast an offensive line, and then yell go while screaming like an idiot. So as I said, go, go my brothers. We can lower the autonomy of a subject. Who, who can we lower? Oh, France, yoink. I'm just gonna go ahead and annex you then. And then we're gonna aggressively launch our attack. Could I have been smarter about this? Yeah, yeah, I absolutely could have been smarter about it, but I wasn't and I don't care. Oh God, I am actually burning through all of my support equipment. Okay, okay, that's uh, it's a little bit of a problem here. Chinese prof, damn it, because <laughs> I didn't attack China. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Because all of our forces are still over here in Manchukuo, because they have to deal with this still, the majority of their units are still wrapped up over on this side. Ah, beautiful, beautiful. There it goes, Germany declaring on Poland. So that's some fun. Uh, currently though, I'm, uh, <laughs> I got bigger fish to fry. And Finland rejects the Soviets. <laughs> Oh God, Soviets, I really hope you declare on Finland. I really, really hope you declare on Finland. And just like that, the Soviet Union falls. Oh boy, took me, took me a little bit longer than I actually anticipated here, but hey, you know what? I'll still take it because with that, my friends, we, uh, <laughs> we basically conquered the world. Oh my Lord. <laughs> You all can see the strategy here at this point. Uh, Japan has conquered the Soviet Union, conquers France, conquers uh, Britain, conquers everything. If I wanted to at this point, I could I could really go after the United States. I'm contemplating that. I'm contemplating it. And now we send all of our convoys over to Romania. It doesn't really matter because the moment that we send those, that means that, uh, I mean, I'm going to be able to annex them almost immediately as soon as they receive it. Another Chinese provocation. Another ambush. Really? Nah, buddy. Nah, we're just, we're just going to war. Screw you, man. Wait a minute. I just get war goals against common. They didn't form the Chinese united front because i didn't do the other thing 
Oh, uh, that means this is going to be relatively simple. Oh, ho, ho, that's a lot of trap divisions. Okay. You heard of the contents of a thousand sword? Uh, well, <laughs> uh, we're going to make that look like chump change. All right, we're going to go ahead and just find the Guanxi click now, and I can be invited into the Axis. You know what? Sure. Yes, j I, I will definitely join the Axis. Absolutely. Thank you. All right, we'll just move our way down the coast. The more that we move down here, the more that we spread out the line, the more we spread out the line, the better that we're going to be able to do. You know what? Screw it. Let's go. Let's go, buddies. We can assume leadership of the faction. <laughs> Oh, that's hilarious. That's that's genuinely hilarious. And China capitulates. Yes. No more will you attack my bridges. That you actually did this time, to be honest. Chinese provocation. Really? I already did this. What do you mean? I think I broke the game. I'm continuously getting the same events over and over again. But this world is, uh, wow, this is incredibly cursed. Screw you, China. Screw you, buddy. Just overwhelm them with sheer numbers and bullshit. I'm not even trying. There's no battle planning. There's no nothing here. It's it's literally just overwhelming through sheer numbers. Come on, Yanan, 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 fall. <laughs> How many men am I going to bleed out doing this? Oh, you know what? You know what? I got an idea. I got an idea. It's total bullshit. It is so stupid, but it just might work. <laughs> they declared war on Jeeves Samba. <laughs> oh, that means I can't actually overwhelm them. Yes. Yes. There goes Yanan. Okay. You know, I just, I, I lost about like 300,000 people there because I kind of threw them at the wall, but you know what? It's, it's fine. It's, that's totally, that, that's totally great. I love it. And all these cavalry, you know what? Screw it. I don't even care. I don't even care. Just make this, make this the whole issue done. I don't have the manpower for it. <laughs> I don't have the manpower, but do I care? No, I'm recruiting it anyway. You thought that the Soviets were responsible for massive waste of life. No, it was me. It was me all along. I haven't even been doing research. I haven't cared. Literally, I'm just able to overwhelm everyone because from the very beginning of the game with the sheer amount of bullshit industry that I have, like there's literally no point in doing anything. Yep, United States, you knew this had to happen. A hundred, uh, well, hundred days. Oh no, I'm not a war with a major power anymore. <laughs> Oh, well, you know what? You know, I'm going to call the Germans in. I'm just going to call the Germans in for the sake of doing it, you know? And there's that war goal. Yeah. Hey, United States, you got basically no help from anything whatsoever. In fact, I'm wondering, uh, what, 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 what do you even have? 181 divisions and that's it. Uh, huh. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I think we're just going to just uh, do this. Yeah, that seems fine. That seems fine. Just just overwhelm you. <laughs> they have so many divisions. They have so many divisions just cranked out over here. I am losing tens of thousands of men a day. Do I care? No. No, I do not, good sir. <laughs> This is so dumb. I've barely even broken into the north. How many men have I lost? How many? I've lost one and a half million already. The United States, yeah, you know what? You know what? It, it, they're taking two of me for every one I take of them, but, uh, oh man, that's a lot of industry that they've lost here. <laughs> oh my God. It's just, it's just, it's not stopping. It's not stopping. We've lost so many men. How many have I lost? Two and a half million. Two and a half million. All for the glorious sake of bringing anime to New Orleans, I guess, maybe. And the United States collapses. Yeah, you know, just like modern infiltration with anime, except significantly more bloody. And there goes the United States, my friends. Now we're just going to go ahead and leave the fraction here. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Germany, I'm sorry. There can only be one. There can be only one. Are you going to throw yourselves at me? Are you going to do it? Are you going to do it? No, no. Do, do, do I have overwhelming numbers? Do I have overwhelming numbers and superiority here? Should I just do it? I think I should. I'm going to break in. Is it going to cost millions of lives? Yes, it is. Yes, it absolutely freaking is. But I don't care. I literally do not care. I'm just going to overwhelm them with sheer bullshit. <laughs> Oh my God, how I've lost already one and a half million. <laughs> I've just been throwing myself at him. Truly, the Soviet strategy is greatest. Die with honor. <laughs> we took Berlin. We have it. Germany, Germany, you're cut off. I'm losing all of my equipment. I'm losing all of my manpower. I do not care. Wait a minute, how did they? Oh, they took back Berlin. <laughs> With that tiny little detachment. Oh, God. But that's that's like the entire German army surrounding here. How many is that? Uh, wow. I went around and killed more of them than they did of me after this. Quick, retake Berlin. It's over. It's over. It's over. Wait, no, it's not. Bulgaria. You know, you always forget about the major power. Bulgaria. Oh, finally. <laughs> Mexico ended up joining in with the Axis for whatever freaking reason. And that means that it took forever to do this. But you know what? We managed to get some additional justifications on some other territory. And so I think even though it's not like the full thing, um, I, I, I think I think we're done here. I think Japan has uh, massacred the world enough that... Uh, 
Yeah, yeah, we're for, for, well, we're good. We're good. We're good. I'm done. This strategy is easily one of the most broken things I think I've ever seen in my life. Technically speaking, if I had been smarter about it, if I wasn't just dicking around and literally throwing my units at the enemy for no particular reason, uh, then yeah, yeah, you know, we, we would have actually been able to uh, conquer everything by like 1939. Easy, like really easy. But I'm gonna end things there today. Everyone, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate all of you. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what it is that you'd like to see down in the comment section below and I will see you all next time. I am exhausted and I got still more stuff I have to film. Goodbye guys. Thank you for watching.